I'm going to warn you ahead of time, we're probably going to have some tripod issues because I hate everything I have right now and uh, I'm trying really to just bear with me. So we're doing pizza today and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Pizza came to the Hartwell house because Max had like five kids over. That's his posse. You'll hear me refer to that. And I didn't feel like ordering over $100 worth of pizza. So we came in the kitchen and lucked into a, a good recipe for crust. And it's a lot of fun for the kids because, you know, they, they get to make it their pizza their own way. Because, you know, these teenagers eat a whole pizza. Um, Scott, however, hunka hunka, he likes this. He likes anything. But he really likes this vegetable pizza that I make. And that's what I'm going to make for him for lunch today. So it is 11.14 and he usually gets here about 15 till 12. Okay, so um, pizza came to West Virginia with the Italian immigrants. The Scottish, Irish, Italian, and you know other immigrants that came to West Virginia usually came here because it was the land that nobody else wanted because it was full of mountains and rocks and you know nobody wanted to work it. Well, they didn't have a lot of money, so this is where they came. And they have taught West Virginians how to just, you know, get through anything. West Virginians have a history of having a wonderful work ethic. We work hard. Uh, we don't expect anything to come easy. Um, as of, you know, as a whole, oh, I'm sure there's some of us that do. But um, anyway, these immigrants have made us who we are today. And I shared pepperoni rolls with you um, last week or week before. And they definitely came from the Italian immigrants who brought them as sausage rolls. And we made them into pepperoni rolls so they didn't have to be refrigerated and the miners could take them in their lunch. So today we're doing pizza and hats off to the Italians that were brave enough to come to West Virginia and build their homes and their families. And generations later, they're still here. Okay, so the crust is very easy. I uh, have it started over here, and I'm scared to move you. Um, let's see if, oh, I knew that was going to happen. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is all I have to say about all these contraptions I have to, um, how to do this for y'all all right let me get this other one out here that i really truly despise and i've got other ones coming trust me there will be there will be more all right so let's see what this bad boy is going to do for us today uh probably nothing but hope for the best oh okay maybe Oh, maybe not. Can you see that bread now? Okay. So I'll put the, um, you know, measurements, true measurements in the description. So what I have in here right now is four cups of warm water, lukewarm water, three packages of yeast. You know, they all come together. One, two, three, not three of the three. That would be nine. Three. Um, a fourth a cup of olive oil and a fourth of a cup of sugar so see how that's all bubbly like i told you when we made pepperoni rolls uh you want bubbles if you don't have bubbles your yeast is dead i would wear an apron or put a dish towel over you because you're going to get floury all right so we're going to take the flour and you don't even have a mixer you just use Turn that around. How does it turn that around? Anyway, you just use a whisk. So we're gonna put in a little flour. And flour is the hardest thing for me to measure because I just pour it in until until it's right. And you'll know when it's right is when it comes together. It's smooth and elastic. So we're getting this party started here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I forgot to look and see what's going on in West Virginia, but you can go to um, the West Virginia homepage and 
it will tell you all kinds of things that are going on in West Virginia any time of the year. And, um, shoot. And give you some idea what you may or may want to do here. But always going on here in the summer is rafting. Uh, Ace Adventures has what we call the Wipeout Pond. It has a bunch of those inflatables on the water that the kids, um, this is about getting too thick for the whisk. Kids try to jump on, jump off of. There's a blob and there's trampolines in the water. We usually try to go up there once a summer, but you know, the sad thing is right now the posse is getting to be teenagers and they don't always want to go do that fun stuff that they used to they used to do. But that's okay. They're doing what they need, you know, what they should be doing, which is staying up all night and sleeping all day. I was never allowed to do that as a teenager. Even in the summer, I had to be in bed at 9 o'clock. 18 years old, I had to be in bed at 9 o'clock. And up, you know, at the crack of dawn. In the summer, besides housework, I babysit my stepbrothers. There was the garden. My dad always had a garden, and I learned a lot from him about gardening. One of the major things I learned about from him in gardening is that the farmer's market makes a better garden because you don't have to weed it. <laughs> Blight doesn't get it. Your investment is firm. And, you know, it's just a different time now. All right, so you can see this coming together. It's just a little sticky, you see that? I'm putting just a little bit. You see how I'm just like putting just a gentle hand, not even a handful in there. Just a little bit at a time because you don't want to overdo it and then have a brick. I was really surprised with this recipe that you don't have to let it raise. Um, but obviously when I'm making four or five pizzas, it, uh, do you hear that? That's probably Scott saying he's about to leave for lunch. Um, all right, so this is good. You come out with a soft, soft dough and we're just going to set it over here. And, you know, like I told you before, oh, you're getting.